close the door, the wheel goes down as you saved it and this seat. That's a very nice feature. Seating position in this car is great. I like it a lot and very comfortable and sporty as well. I tend to put the seats as, you know, as my personal preference, which is the lowest as I can. Lots of headspace, legroom as well. Steering wheel is adjustable electronically, you know, which is very good function. The seats are very comfortable, ventilated and heated as well, which is amazing. The position is absolutely great very nice and it's a bit thick steering wheel for Kias I wish it's a bit thicker and I wish again the steering wheel it's giving more feedback for the driver but so far it's brilliant soft leather there you know I wish it's a bit softer and nicer but it's flat bottom steering wheel a big plastic here also if it's there's a gap here or it's hollow it's better you know armrest is very comfortable can adjust as well the head as much as you like it which is very cool the side bluster there it doesn't really you know hold you very well but it's fine you're not supposed to go super fast anyway with this kind of cars so, you know this is a comfortable sports saloon tend to be sporty so don't expect you're gonna have a bucket seat or you're gonna have super you know uncomfortable racing type seats or caro seats so I do understand also they cost very much money this is the standard cannot have different type of seats yeah. electric power as well so sitting in the back is a very nice place to be the, the, the leather is made from Napa it's ventilated and it's absolutely great very comfortable seats it's gonna be super difficult for to put three people inside two people they're gonna fit very nice there's a big hump here and also this one is a bit you know going outwards uh, you know, you're gonna sit very up and because of the shape of the roof, you must have a very short person or a small kid maybe, you'll be fine. The doors are made from soft material but plasticky. This car have the 15 speakers, Harman Kardon, so there's three speakers on each door. The door opening made from aluminium. It's well built, carbon of course, plastic carbon, soft leather. You know, you have some storage here as well and the net here. Black space is great, um, but the headspace, I'm not very tall guys, I'm just a medium person. So headspace, you might face some issues. There's an AC controller here. You cannot control the, the AC, but you can control, uh, you know, basically to make it hot or cold. And you can have those vents open and close. 12 volt socket, and this is the charger. Absolutely great, USB. A must and thank you for putting that here let's put this armrest here the suit up holders and it's this is the way you're supposed to sit I believe if you don't have kids this is a great place to be soft leather cup holders they're not adjustable but they fit some small cups there you know we have seat belt you know kind of Alcantara roof you can close and open the lights very simple back but pretty nice guys this is the key of the car the leather was very nice chrome high quality and it's heavy lock and lock it's to lock the car and you see can, your thumbs can rest here unlock it to hold it and open the trunk it's a keyless of course so you can put it anywhere you want to start the car of course press engine start stop button and put your uh, leg on the brake Let's talk about the interior, starting with the steering wheel, soft leather, stitching as well, perforated, but doesn't look like it is, but it's kind of, you know, nice steering wheel, good quality, flat bottom, GT here, that plastic glossy, if it was like chrome or, you know, you know, high low, it'll be nicer, speedometer and RPM, there's a small screen here, seven inches to have different functions. Voice command only works when you have, you know, uh, the phone connected, whether it's Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This button here to control the, uh, the voice, uh, you know, volume basically, turn it up and down. You can change different channels, it depends on the mode. And to receive telephone and close the telephone, it's also there, good, good quality. You know of these buttons if you're connected as a music basically you can only change fm am or you know different types of channels 
um, that's okay going to the other side uh, this is the main screen here as you can see guys uh, to control different modes you have the compass tire pressure drive to display so you need to order to drive you can change it if you go up and down there's only one function in that category uh, let's use this one g-force of course while driving absolutely great i like it a lot it's simple but it works also there's gorgeous you can check the oil temperature the torque the boost while driving this is very nice you have also accumulated uh, info as a range for the gas on top um, you know how many kilometers you've done your last trip oh my god this car has been pushed a lot it's doing 12.3 liter uh, per 100 kilometers and how many hours you've been driving it also different driving options uh, if you just want to have you know easier a digital uh, you know uh, display for the speed in the middle you can do it uh, I tend to like it a lot drive mode it's set in comfort uh, once you press it here actually guys when you use this button and press it it you know it goes in the middle screen instead of the top if you're not using it as a middle screen it's always there on the left top actually which is a nice option you know in order to control the you know the comfort setting or different uh, driving mode you can use this button here so you have smart eco comfort sport and custom we'll go through that a bit later guys also you can have the cruise control you know you can set the speed that you like it while driving otherwise it won't work you can cancel it and press ok at any time to choose that setting the door it's made from soft rubber it's fine i wish you have an option to have an extended leather on the dash and the doors but you don't do that you don't have an option door handlers are made from aluminium or chrome and they look great and they feel good carbon there harman cardon twitter a different settings uh, memory seats handler there control the windows uh, front and back also to lock and unlock the car turn off all the windows including the trunk this is the mirror function you can turn it off and on from here you can keep it in auto in the middle just press here so you can you know choose left or right and you can change the settings you already like it nice store handler and match from the inside and the outside is good very good material starting from here until the down but again as it goes down more very hard plastic even some scratches there the trim here is nice um, very small compartment I don't think you can store much stuff but anyways the other goes all the way back this here to have the illumination of the car for the max or minimum BCW system just keep it on all the time in order to see you know if the car is getting close to others to open the, the gas lid here and the trunk you can open the bonnet from here the pedals are made from aluminium and they feel very good guys this car is still using the analog mode and i think i like them they're pretty nice really also the driving modes they have different colors so custom is in i don't know like violet or something you have the mileage on the right which gear you're selecting in the middle and the you know temperature outside very nice speedometer up 300 I bet it can go to that also the old temperature so pretty nice design it's a bit old now compared to the other cars it's like this cars you know uh, like 2010 2015 models in max uh, i wish it's a bit better but it's functional the display is optional uh, you can change different colors going to the middle screen it's uh, eight inches a navigation display also optional i'm not sure what's the standard because it's only coming here as full basically fully equipped the air vents they are aircraft inspired they've been there since bmw even mercedes i believe they started that oh, there's three of them in the middle and the one on the right and left is different design and it's actually black and chrome and it's not like you know the other one it's a shame that you just like don't have the same design i don't know why they do that even alfa romeo did that there is a nice element here made from i believe it's chrome because it's very hard it goes all the way to the other door also you can turn off the navigation and you can turn it on at any time you want you can control the volume it's a knob there and it feels pretty good uh, you have shortcuts for radio media uh, different you know track the hazards are here map navigation setup 
and also uh, you have the favorites here so it's very really nice whatever function you're using this is a nice option here the ac is actually three uh, zones not two so you can control each side and you control the back different functions for the ac of course it's like a knob and it works for me it's it's a bit old school but it works going down it's carbon fiber and it's very good quality guys i'm really impressed with the quality it's not bad at all here you can have the smartphone uh, wireless charging you have it 12 volts an oxy usb as well to know that your phone is charging very neat function you can close it anytime while charging as well design elements it's plastic here you know rubbery and then very hard rubber there so just this part could be a little bit better i don't know if you can order in different colors i, I don't think you can i wish you have more leather but you know it's all fine it's still a little bit to the driver side you know bmw do that so it's good to see that kia is implementing the design we go down and you have the gear uh, shifter here very good design inspired from different cars like bm and mercedes and it's very soft leather here parking you press it once you press here you have reverse neutral and drive once you press reverse the car automatically goes to uh, it enables the cameras and the, the functions and it's very cool design guys uh, also you know you can have different settings you can press on it because it's touch so you have just rear uh, rear and the side you can set up as well different you know uh, the warning the views etc uh, i prefer to have the design here uh, the rear view camera and as a whole car from the you know 360 basically view design elements here carbon again two cup holders and they are adjustable thank you kia for that pretty nice and clean if you close all of it go. let me show you if you close both of them you can hide everything very nice design i wish the, some of the quality is better but it's okay electric parking brake it's not, it's obvious now everybody's implementing it auto hold when you come close to uh, you know a traffic light or traffic in general so the car will lock itself or hold itself you don't have to press your foot on the brake you know which is cool traction control you can just press on it once and it goes off the different driving modes so you have eco comfort you can see it on the screen here is better a sport and custom custom let me show you guys setting as i showed you engine and transmission you can put it in three different settings eco comfort and sport steering wheel comfort and sport i put it in sport settings suspension comfort and sport active en engine sound minimize neutral enhance keep it enhanced of course why would you want to turn it off let's press ok it will you know save as custom so anytime you just have it custom and you have your preferred setting the seats are heated and ventilated three options and they're good quality so up for heated and down for ventilated parking assist you press it here the the camera while i showed you, you can use the screen because it's touch also you can actually use that button here so while driving you don't want to reach it or you know so you just have it here and also the camera will be enabled for parking purposes safety also if you drive up to 20 kilometers it will stay on which is very cool function the passenger also have three options for you know ventilation and heated the armrest cool opening it's a pretty good gap actually here and also you can remove it here and then put it anytime you want uh, this one starts to feel a bit plasticky and cheap honestly speaking you know like look at that it just doesn't serve any purpose put some cone or something this one i really don't like it at all also you cannot adjust it you know so it's fixed but it's pretty wide and tall so at all times you're comfortable putting your arms there even you know the passenger central mirror are auto auto dim function and they're pretty solid they're not frameless you know it's normal we have seen it in different cars even alpha storage to put your sunglasses thank you you press that to close the roof it's not a moon roof it's just sunroof you press it once and it open but look what's, what's gonna happen here guys 
the actual you know roof will open itself by pressing it once it doesn't just stop and you have to press it again no it just opened by itself and it doesn't open all the way so you press it let's see here you're gonna close it and the shades also will close so you need to press it again before it closes you know so it, it takes some time to get used on that you have a gt logo here napa leather very soft again as i showed you they are ventilated and heated the side bluster here it's not so supportive that you cannot adjust it uh, you can adjust some functions you know and have lumbar support that you know you can adjust the you know the height of the head uh, the headrest but um, they're, they're okay see they could be a little bit better but they're okay the seat belt here is very cheap and you know at least you can put it up so sometimes it just slides and you know it hits the door so you have to be you know careful with this actually um, and sometimes if you don't you know close it very well and you want to open the door it hits the door so that's the view for the rear window basically and it's very very narrow as you can see from the inside i mean even those head uh, rest here they take a lot of the space so let's go to uh, the, the functions of the car you have vehicle drive mode alert detailed alert simple alert just keep it as it is Navigation, uh, guidance, uh, you have different, you know, you can just unselect the options you don't want, uh, which is a cool function. The sound again, you can, because it have the optional Harman Kardon sound system, where do you want the sound to be as equalized and loud, you know, uh, in different positions of the car. So just keep it as it is. I really care less about this one display auto illuminated and illumination you can have it display off daylight night uh, and you have it default as well bluetooth to connect your phone once the phone is connected you have projection custom button which is here as a favorite date and time you can change the gps time uh, you can have it uh, daytime uh, daylight baby saving time or 24 hours as you like it so you don't have an ambient lighting, there's just a button illuminate, you know, in white, so you cannot change much of the interior. But the system works pretty well, actually, you know, and it's very fast. I mean, look, very responsive and very fast, guys. You see Kia Motors, and it doesn't need much time, basically, to, to search for your, you know, for the place. It's pretty fast. You just put set as destination, it calculates it. It takes less than five, ten seconds, guys. It's very good. Uh, this is the showroom, Sheikh Zayed Road. So you have different, uh, you know, uh, routes as again to choose. You can start the guidance. You can just basically go to home. So it cancels. Starting route guidance. Oh, it started alone. If you put it here, so let's just turn it off. Uh, it's a dual screen as well, so you have different options here. I believe you can make it full or half. You can even change the settings here. So. The system is it's very nice. I like it a lot. Much better than the Alfa Romeo, much better than some of the Japanese cars. It's not basic, it's functional and it's very, very good. The pedals are fixed on the you know steering wheel and they're very clicky but very short man. I mean you look they tend to have the same size on the upper part than the lower part. I wish it's a bit taller and they're made from plastic, not aluminium. All the lights can be controlled here and window washing settings speed whatever so it's very typical nothing uh, dramatic here.